Okay, this is my Daisy Yellow Index Card a Day, Day 5. These uh, started out as a list of benefits, um, but there are some pieces in here that just flipped in as more as realizations, but there are benefits to realizing certain things. Um, so, let's start. D number one benefit, we're going to start at the top, um, is creating a physical piece of art versus digital. Um, it's actually been kind of fun to encounter my pieces of art laying around the house. Okay, I have to put an insert in here about number one, creating a physical piece of art versus digital. Um, yesterday at some point when, yeah, these are all redo videos. Um, yesterday I told y'all that one of the things I did with digital art was create environments. Digital virtual environments in virtual worlds and um, it is a major rush don't let anybody tell you otherwise it is a huge rush to have someone else walk through your art um, it may only be with an avatar but it is what they call immersive and your mind will put you in, it's just like playing a video game where in your mind you begin to perceive everything as if you were there. Um, that's one reason why you can react to shooter games for instance or the driving games. It's, it's a physical feeling of being there. And I said yesterday that doing the physical art was bringing me somewhere near that same rush again. And just now when I turned off the camera, I realized yesterday I couldn't pinpoint why it was that was bringing me near this. What it was it? I realized today I said the answer when I did the recording. It's encountering my physical art around the house. When I would log into a virtual world, I would encounter my art as real, as, you know, <laughs> you create a wall, you walk into the wall with your avatar, your avatar doesn't go anywhere. So it, it's a real sensation. Um, encountering my physical art daily has been some of that same feeling, same of that same, oh look, that's nice, sort of rush, and I've really enjoyed it. Um, then number two is playing with different stuff with the side perk of learning. I have a few different little tools, not many. And I'm like, well, oh, hey, this is something I could get addicted to. Um, most especially the quill pen and um, the coloring pencils. And, well, okay, everything I've played with so far, I've really enjoyed playing with it. Number three is observing crea creative minds using iCAD to expand their explore. There are people who are using the index card a day to simply refine their skills, which is great. And then there are people who are using Index Card a Day to teach, which is also wonderful. And they're doing things they're familiar with, obviously. To me, probably because it's where I am, I am really enjoying watching people who are using Index Card a Day to explore their learning opportunities. And push beyond their familiar. Um, so number four, observing creative minds who teach with wild abandon. That's fun and I appreciate it and thank you. Um, number five is learning to just start and let it roll without always insisting on a redo. Um, an example of just letting it start and letting it flow is this one. Um, this is day four. It started out as just words on a card because <laughs> who could resist? I mean that's such a great title. It's a title to an article that Jason Burns wrote and um, <laughs> poor Jason. He's actually using index cards to become organized and productive and yeah so but he's totally missing iCAD 2004. Uh, 2014. Let's get that. Okay, then it continues to card two. Yes, I did more than one card on day five. Um, 
being surprised by overcoming my fear of ripping up a piece of my printed and totally reprintable digital art. Seriously. Uh, it's this piece right here that caused me grief. We'll come back to that one. Uh, yeah, that deserves a video of its own. Let's see. Confirming that I could get seriously addicted to physical art. I can. <laughs> and I probably am. Uh, collecting ideas. I believe that 75% of the fun of art is collecting the ideas. The, ooh, I could do that. Ooh, I could expand on that. Ooh, ooh. combine that, combine that. Mmm, that works. And so, um, number nine is congratulating me myself on what feels like original twists of collected ideas. We'll see. Um, I'm used to collecting ideas and twisting them into my own view, my own ideas, my own perspective when it comes to digital art. You know, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, actually, number 10 is being shocked that I can have original ideas for physical art. The freebie on this particular day is letting this stand as day five's production. Um, part of the rules is it can just be words on a card. So, look, I justified it as art. There's a smiley or about, uh, yeah, <laughs> set of eyes. And um, I went to play with my food. Yes, um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, a PS was being amused about my internal arguments that this would be so much easier on the PC. Um, yeah, it's not really. <laughs> I mean, it is in that I can do a perfect circle on the computer. It is in that um, I can get the color exactly how I want it. I can get the shading pretty much where I want it to be. But... Um, and without, but it's a lie. It, it really is. It still takes as much time. It still takes as much thought. It still takes practice. Um, so there's that. And then uh, number 12 is running into lots of, oh, <laughs> number two is Jason Burns. I keep running into people who are actually using index cards to organize and be productive and document their life and um so you know some of that may rub off we'll see and then um number 13 was it, this is definitely a realization um and it's beneficial to realize this is that digital and there's a there is a faux pas in this one it says digital is both liberating and handicapping in the processes facilitation and sharing of, that's supposed to be physical art, not digital art. I have run into so many digital issues with my physical art. Like uh, this one. Um, it has issues that um, don't show up on the computer. But when I print it, especially if I print it on just plain paper, it shows up. Then there's the whole fact that storms keep running through and I do my level best not to run my computer during storms. I don't know what it is about us. We may just have the kind of dynamic personalities, but we tend to get lightning struck. And um, we've already been struck twice in this apartment uh, through the telephone lines. The telephone lines are very sneaky and uh, we're using DSL here. and. So, yes, be sure that not only are you running all your computer equipment through the UPS, be sure that anything that attaches to your computer goes through the UPS. This is a free lecture on UPSs. Then, the other thing is um, just getting the camera to photograph things correctly. Like, I discovered I um, set the camera up and videotaped this wrong. So, I mean, there's all these little digital things that we are now using in today's world to facilitate our physical art and it complicates things. It liberates, it complicates. So I'm sure there are other things about physical art that are the same way. And I think that's enough of me rambling on this particular set. That's day five.